sharp reminder, I might say, <laughs> which will probably propel you through the exit door, I dare say. But um, so the surname is called, forward you go, two or three paces, it takes to center yourself upon the Duke of Cambridge, turn and face him. Um, he is standing on this mat, by the way, directly in front of that platform that uh, I described earlier. That mat um, is his operating space, okay, if you just bear that in mind. Anyway, when you get to this point here, please, and turning and facing him, looking him straight in the eyes, about eight feet in front of you, please, the next action for the, for the gentleman here is a neck bow, simply like that, chin on chest, nothing from the waist or anything like that, just chin on chest. And for the ladies, please, as best you can, and probably the better than I'm about to do, a curtsy. And forward you go. Forward you go to the point, the point that your toes reach the edge of the mat upon which he is standing. And when you get to this point, um, he'll give you your awards. And I see you've all got hooks now on your lapels. Onto those hooks will go, in the case of the ladies, will go a brooch. In the case of the gentleman, will give you a medal. And during the course of that giving, there'll be a conversation, a two-way conversation between you and he. It comes to an end when he offers you his hand. Take it, shake it, remember to let it go, and <laughs> go back a couple of paces. Dip at the head again from the gentleman, Cuts here from the ladies, turns you right on this occasion, passing in front of Malcolm here through the exit doors that lie straight to your front. Um, when you go through those doors, you're going to meet members of staff again who are going to take the awards back off you, box them up, give them back to you, and we're going to usher you into the rear of the ballroom, give you a seat to witness the balance of proceedings. What else can I tell you? Ladies, we're going to take those handbags off you before you go through this procedure. Probably depending on the quality of your cuts, you'll get them back afterwards. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, telephones, if you've got your telephones with you, please make sure they're switched off. Um, how do we address the Duke of Cambridge? Your Royal Highness to start with, sir, as the conversation develops. Your Royal Highness, sir. Any questions? Perfect, thank you very much indeed. We'll catch up with you shortly. Many thanks. Queen's bodyguard. Hello, Mark. The scene is set, the briefings are over, and the investiture is about to begin. It's 11 o'clock.
view throughout the palace is a treasure trove of art that establishes the royal collection as one of the major collections in the world today. There is a feast of fine paintings by such great European masters as Rubens, Vermeer, Rembrandt, Van Dyck, Poussin, Zuccarelli and Canaletto. There can be few waiting rooms in the world which offer their visitors such a wonderful display of original art as these state rooms give today's recipients and their guests. Honours and awards are not given lightly. They've been justly earned and the investiture ceremony is the country's acknowledgement of that particular achievement. Many countries in the world today have honours and awards of one sort or another, but nowhere is the bestowing of titles and decorations performed in such splendid surroundings and with such grace, style and ceremony. Miss Rebecca Masri for services to charity. The honour system is a tradition that I am delighted to be a part of. I often meet many outstanding, inspirational and generous people from all over the nation and it is so rewarding to be able to give awards to some of those people today. When talking with the recipients at these investitures, I am reminded of all of the great things that they have done to earn their awards. The long service that they have given throughout their working lives, the considerable achievements they have reached and the selfless commitments they have made to their communities. All of these attributes and many, many more are a foundation upon which the honour system has been built over time. I hope that the award of these decorations to everyone here today will provide a lasting memory of the gratitude we offer to the recipients. It is fascinating to see so many people from so many corners of the country and the Commonwealth, and I really do feel that they are a small representative of the greater population who continue to do so much good for others, whether in this country or the world over. Each investiture lasts a little over an hour and brings together not only those whose achievements may not have been brought to our attention by the media, but also those who have not sought publicity but brought to the fore by the investiture ceremony.
as today's investiture comes to an end, there can be little doubt that the day will have given lasting pride and pleasure to all. I was rather surprised that it was, going, that it was Prince William because until we came in this morning we hadn't a clue who was doing it. Um, it was uh, a unique event as far as I'm concerned. He very much focuses on, on you. He's incredibly adept at making you feel at ease and also putting the focus on you because it's your award. He was very easy to talk to, very personable. He listened to me personally and I got the impression that he understood a little bit about my award and given that he handed out scores of awards today, that was very impressive. He really put me at ease. I walked towards him and I thought, I'm going to wobble here and not get it right, but he was absolutely lovely. I think the uh, conversation also I had with Prince William was uh, very interesting. He obviously had done homework and I um, was able to, to have a, a chat with him about my work. He was so relaxed and so lovely to speak to and it's just something that I'm going to remember for a long, long time. It's just so lovely. The whole atmosphere of the day really was um, extremely awe-inspiring and to be in the same room with so many uh, fantastic people was a real privilege. Mm -hmm.